in this short video I just want to um, quickly touch on or um, show the um, the link this link is actually um, the images or the graphics I'm about to um, sort of speak to are um, the link to is actually available um, in the um, in the idea scale proposal so you can you know um, follow that and just have a look at them and this is doc this is a document which is going to be evolving anyway so um, yeah I just wanted to sort of give people some idea of uh, what the hell um, they'll be looking at uh, so yeah these are just um, ideas of um, uh, some segments um, which are in varying stages of um, being developed and the idea is just to get a sense of you know what would actually be filling up this um, this dream uh, so yeah you've got just ideas like how, you know how to choose a stake pool identity ah, identity on Cardano how to build with identity on Cardano wallets accessibility um, yeah just stuff like this where you've got especially accessibility because like um, there's a bunch of uh, stuff especially in the context of wallets on, on both the current desktop and the um, the mobile wallet which are quite lacking in, in the context of um, accessibility so um, it would be interesting to have you know conversations about that um, yeah even down to you know start a node slash uh, slash pool um, I think uh, that's uh, something that's would that would be of value and especially if broken down in a way that is made accessible so here um, you've got a Raspberry Pi right so again this is connected to the uh, starter node slash pool uh, obviously currently uh, you can only do that on uh, on Ubuntu um, but hopefully soon you know we'll be able to actually do it natively uh, on the terminals of Windows and Mac um, yeah so this would basically uh, be you know from hardware like you know being able to um, to um, create stake pools on this little thing um, and break it down in a way that you know is just really openly um, accessible people are able to to do it um, you know in these sort of uh, se se sessions which will be broken down um, over a week or over a month and then basically loops back around uh, yeah so that's that uh, let's just jump up here um, yeah just a few ideas I want to um, highlight so for for instance um, currently this is an idea which is basically you know uh, news but done in a different way in a way where we sort of present what's going on but in a sort of devil, you know, playing devil's advocate, um, you know, sort of asking, okay, you know, this is basically a, a press release from whatever company or project. What does this mean? You know, like how 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 should we read? Like, what's the positive and negative of this? So, um, yeah, it's it's called update. Um, it will be sort of the idea is that it will be happening, you know, at the top of the hour. Um, Another name for it has been signal, you know, sort of signal to noise ratio. Because you know, it's the the idea that we're trying to pass um, and pass out information, trying to, trying to filter through it and figure out what's um, what's useful and what's not. Um, so that's update, uh, blah 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 blah. Signal noise, calendar spotlight. Uh, let me just talk about this a little bit. Uh, spotlight is um, uh, stylized, you know, SBO. Uh, and this is basically sort of like Q&A's or AMA's with um, staple operators um, you know sort of highlighting um, them and the work that they're doing uh, this uh, is an interesting concept um, uh, the idea here is to create an environment where we, we can have people from within the community who come along and they basically sort of debate out uh, particular p particular topics right and not just superfluous topics but um, topics of, of um, 
of meaning and the idea here is not to sort of have winners and losers because actually the way it will be structured will be similar to the update structure in a way where yeah, it's not about winning the argument it's about actually uh, the, the people would be arguing both for and against right uh, i mean there will be some sort of competitive element to it but the ultimate idea is to come out of it being informed about the contestants ability to communicate and the depth of knowledge on um on the subjects kind of thing so uh yeah that's that's one um this one's interesting um city meetups because obviously at the moment um given that we're going through a pandemic um it's tricky to uh, to do meetups so you know actually figuring out a way that we could um implement you know a, a good structure around meetups where you know we don't have to you know actually physically go um go out um yeah just sort of optimize it in terms of the structure and that kind of thing uh, you know um milling topics us that, that are spoken about and you know so in this case you won't be actually restricted to um a, a particular geography it will be quite um you know open and available to um a wider array of um, people internationally so it'll be interesting and also um talk uh, trying to figure out some internationalization um uh, hurdles uh in discussing that that ought to be interesting so epoch reset this is an interesting idea where obviously the epoch sort of resets ish um every five days so you know you can imagine sort of like a this is actually kind of inspired by rocket launches um you know having like the t minus whatever you know to um to the point where the reset happens and uh, in the build up to it in the run up to it talk about um what has happened within the epoch you know looking at you know certain metrics um certain returns you know that kind of thing um yeah just sort of basically an insight into the epoch that has uh that is coming to a close um and uh yeah it basically like a review design uh this is uh, kind of obvious and straightforward but some really interesting stuff um could happen here i've got some interesting ideas there run this is um the um the stake pool um you know run a pool or a node kind of thing um yeah governance okay so now this is this kind of ties back you know same kind of color coloring um you know with a political red and blue kind of thing um yeah the idea here again uh governance is going to be a, a very important uh, issue uh, i mean it, it already is but the community is actually lacking a high bandwidth low latency environment to to communicate and to be able to actually ascertain certain bits of information or building trust and you know understanding d different people's ex expertise in terms of um you know who they would delegate um their vote to or if they want to delegate at all you know because uh, obviously someone has to um earn your trust and you know for you to then be able to say okay i trust you enough here um here's my vote i trust that you will make um the best decision from my um, vantage point kind of thing uh and lastly uh, i mean there's more um but this is uh, the last one i don't want to touch on here um internationalization sort of you know um i18n uh, where we are an international community and i think it's quite um it's quite important to have conversations about how um how community how um information is dis uh, is distributed or uh what's the word uh you know decimated what the hell is that word um yeah basically um disseminated that's the word <laughs> um yeah so internationalization that's that's a conversation which i, I think is um quite important to be had um I mean i've kind of already been having a few a few of these conversations with some people and it might even sort of take form in a in a kind of gradually in a kind of gradual uh implementation across different segments like for example um you know having a bit of the update um segment um factoring in some some internationalization um 
and that kind of thing. So yeah, ongoing conversation. Uh, but yeah.